And now here is one point that I wish to stress on for a few moments. That is concerning believers hooking themselves up with unbelievers. That's right. Doesn't was doesn't work. God isn't pleased with it. God has said, "Come out from among the unbelievers." That's right. You can't associate uh, night and day together. Neither can you associate belief and unbelief together. And and when you find unbelief, it's accompanied by hatred. If you find faith, it's accompanied by love. For love creates faith. And without faith, why you can't uh, have love. Now, then, this believer Jehoshaphat, uh, willing to give respects to somebody who had a great kingdom, and probably the prestige that this young king had in his day, he, before considering God or asking God whether he should do it or not, he united his forces to go make war with the enemy. And not realizing that he was hooking himself up with the same, with his better enemy, or worse than what the Moabites would be. I think we've done the same thing during this last world's war, which we had time tonight to dwell on it, but we haven't. That is, when we hooked ourselves up with Russia and made an alliance with Russia. And how can two walk together except they be agreed? See, and they, we refused the cross, and we got a double cross for it. And now the very material that we sent to them, there looks like fixing to blow it back at us. Well, that's the way the world goes. But one day there'll be the King of Righteousness will come, and there'll be no more war. There'll be no more sorrow. It'll all be over. Until that stone that Daniel saw hewed out of the mountains come, the kingdoms of the world are still controlled by Satan. Now, during this time, this fine man, because he had looked over and seen the, a bright side there, before considering God, he joined himself with this unbeliever. Anyhow, they united their forces together, and watch when a believer gets out of contact with his maker. They fixed up their compass for seven days and went out into the wilderness, taking the king of Edom with them to meet this great company of the Moabites out there. Now. They went off in such a hurry without even considering God. And when they found out the seven days was up, well, their water supply was cut off. They didn't have any water to drink. And there they was out there with their cattle, with their animals, and their water supply was cut off. And looks like that it was just about the end for them. Now, that's what we do. Sometimes we go off on a tantrum somewhere and not think about God, not pray over it, ask the Lord whether we should do it or not. And we find out that our supply of blessings is cut off. And we wonder sometimes, well, I wonder why I can't have no more blessings. If you don't watch, you let down in your prayer life. You say, "Well, I'm a Christian." Well, that's more sign you should pray more than ever. Read the Bible every day. Pray every day. Don't make any decisions too harshly or too quickly without first considering God about it. 
Ask him, shall I do this, Father? Ask him, is it your will for me to do this? Then see what the Holy Spirit will speak to you. He might not give you a vision, but he'll speak in some way to you to let you know if you'll be sincere and ask him, 